One thing I failed to do on here, guys, is, there she is. You always want to do a compass calibration on here. All right, guys, check it out. I got the Parrot Anafi. And uh, basically, the setup, this is what you just take out in the field. And you want to make sure if you have a iOS device to have a, a cord that uh, corresponds with your iOS. Simply put, uh, once you uh, hook it up your uh, device, uh, it'll power right into the app and you're pretty much uh, ready to take off. Let me go ahead and get this, take this out of the, uh, the case here. Comes with this nice little case. And this is it. I was surprised on how small this actually is. This is the, uh, the Paranafi itself. And pretty much as long as my hand, it's about nine inches long. And uh, this is it. And it's really well put together. Very, very lightweight. I'm going to take off the lens cap. And this is the uh, reason why you want to buy this quadcopter. There's two reasons, really. And this is one of them right here. This is a, a nice 4K camera. It's got a 2.4 um, aperture on it. Uh, 21 megapixel camera. Now, some of the video I've seen on the line, obviously people are flying this in auto mode versus manual or versus setting the contrast. This has a 2.4 aperture on here. So that means it's going to let in a lot of light. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and adjust the contrast depending on the areas in which I fly. Because I'm afraid that the uh, contrast will be a little bit a little bit too bright just kind of dark it darken it down one stop or two stops on the uh, contrast I think that should do the trick let me go ahead and get this powered up I'm gonna show you exactly how it, it, it takes no time at all to go ahead and get this all hooked up one touch to power it up it does have a smart battery in here I believe it's a 2700 milliamp an hour battery and I'm going to wait for the uh, dark blue light to show up here. Like I said, it's got a 2700 milliamp battery on it. And, uh, and the great thing about this quadcopter is the fact that, uh, oh, there he is. We're already hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and put my, throw my phone up here. Throw it up here like, like so. See it in there, turn it on. What am I do here? This is gonna take the longest. Actually, I'm gonna show you right here. As soon as I put this in, it's gonna grab that app. I'm gonna allow it, and there I am. And before I go into the quadcopter itself, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my settings. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a screen recording on it. Actually, no, gotta figure out how to do it. Come on, iPhone. And I think I'm recording now. I believe I'm recording. Take off my glasses. Watch me step on my glasses. Nope. Here we go. One, two, three, zero. There we go. I am now recording. I'm gonna go back into that app. I should be already, already have a bunch of uh, satellites here. And I'm gonna go ahead and find the Parrot app. And fly. There was already a setup on this device earlier. And it, and that's why you see on the screen I have 88% uh, on the uh, quadcopter because it had a couple updates. Let me go ahead and go through some of these updates for you. Okay, um, you remember uh, in, uh, when this first was reviewed, when it first came out, that's why I never buy these brand new because I always know these quadcopter manufacturers like Parrot and DJI. 
uh, will incrementally uh, improve their software over time and so I kind of like wait until uh, it's been improved so you see where it says 4k 30 uh, uh, frames per second on the uh, right hand side of the screen on the bottom well here we go I'm gonna go I have uh, 4k I can record all the way up to 30 frames per second I have check this out 2.7k and I have 1080p and each one of these I can I can go ahead and film in uh, HDR okay and I can do also do uh, a lock of that uh, of the settings so I'm gonna take it out of HDR I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and actually film anything this is just the initial uh, test of my my quadcopter probably keep it in 2.7 okay one other thing is uh, is when it first came out there was no adjustment for the return to height You're, it was stuck at 20 meters I believe now if I go into safety check this out I can now go all the way up for return to height uh, return to home height of 328 feet so it is highly adjustable now uh, you can adjust to your maximum distance I have it maxed out maximum altitude I have it at uh, 397 feet <clears throat> you go take this out time to uh, time to go ahead and take this out um, I'm putting on my glasses time to take off on this quadcopter what you can do right here check this out this is gonna be really quiet and this is another reason why you buy this quadcopter this thing is whisper quiet. If you have a, a spark and your biggest complaint like me is that it's noisy um, and you're kind of embarrassed sometimes to take it around people because it likes drawing them out with pitchforks and tar and feather, this is the quadcopter for you. This is really super quiet. I'm gonna take her up. She's in camera mode not in sport mode now let me go ahead and let me take this over to a uh, sport mode so I can figure out how to do it uh, nope here we go sport there we go I'm gonna park her down over here and on the back end of, uh, of the uh, controller here, you have some toggle switches, which you can go ahead and uh, up and down. And you can go all the way up to 180 degrees. And you can simply touch a button and it all goes back to where it was before. I have it on lossless zoom right now. Man, that thing is just super quiet. Now, one thing you have to be mindful on this, it doesn't have any forward or rear or sideways collision sensors. I uh, normally on my uh, Spark turn them all off anyhow because I, I just find it's not beneficial to when I'm filming because it makes it fly like... Uh, like an old lady driving a big Buick at 30 miles per hour on the interstate and I, I, I normally just turn them off because I, I especially on the Spark you only have about 16 or 13 actually 13 minutes of flight time so if you want to film something you better think about getting it out there quick to film it and you really can't do it with the sensors on so I never really fly with the sensors anyhow I'll park right over in my backyard and I'll tell you what it's quiet it is quiet it is really quiet where if I have my spark up there I can hear it I can hear it from way off I'm gonna kind of pick up the camera a little bit I'm not gonna zoom in I'm gonna zoom yeah let me zoom in on a tree zoom back out pick up the camera 
get the horizon a little bit. Now I'm recording on the quadcopter. It comes with the 16 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme card. I'm only filming on 2.7 uh, K at 30 frames per second. Let me go ahead and click on it and go to HDR. I should make it a little bit more contrast, well, a little bit more colorful on HDR. Let me bring that camera down just a tad. Yeah, I might have this video up as well. I don't know. But already I can tell you right now, I'm loving this quadcopter. I am I'm really happy with it. Now as you see here, I generally don't like going out on distance because you know in the end I do live in the United States and according to the Federal Aviation Administration I have to keep this in line of sight so I don't recommend going out too far I may later on as I get to know this drone a little bit better but I can tell you right now I'm doing a pretty good job on maintaining FPV on here I know I'm only out 300, 350 feet but you know I can see it up there it's flying out going pretty quick that's 800 feet I'm at a thousand kind of a break up there there we go alright and after all this is just a Wi-Fi quadcopter One thing I failed to do on here, guys, is, there she is, you always want to do a compass calibration on here. <laughs> yeah, don't make this uh, mistake when you take a quadcopter out of the box and you don't do a compass cal. I could have very well lost this quadcopter, but I'm about done. On this anyhow, this little demonstration of my new Parrot Anafi. And I'll tell you what, this thing is quiet, 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 quiet. I'm going to set this down. Alright. Kill the video. Video is killed. Power this down. One press to power it down and simply just close this back up and it's powered off. All right, let me go ahead and uh, stop recording. All right, I'm stopped. Yeah, one thing you don't want to do is do what I did, just take off without a compass cal. I did it when I took it out of the box in the house but there's no GPS that's why you didn't get a flight map coming popping up from uh, Google Maps uh, hi, <laughs> very stupid of me for doing that I I made a mistake I know somebody else out there is probably gonna make a mistake like that 
don't do it do a compass towel out here it's simple you twist it and you do a little compass dance on it and that's it it'll lock right into the satellites i didn't have satellite lock on this as you saw the reason why i didn't do a compass cowl however with that said i tell you what i really like this quadcopter i know it's a wi-fi quadcopter you saw some breakup out there um, but really i'm not going to be flying it that far out i could not see it past these trees uh, I crapped my pants when I realized I didn't do a compass cal on it and I had no GPS lock on it uh, So it could have gone anywhere, but I got it back and No harm no foul, right? But the thing about it is if you're looking for a quadcopter That it is a fantastic compromise from the expensive 1200 to 1500 dollar quadcopters that will and, and it will do the job if you want to if you're looking for something around about 500 bucks because right now you can pick this up on Best Buy at five five hundred and forty nine dollars and I'll tell you what I'm glad I bought this quadcopter it is super quiet I'm going to be using this from now on versus my spark um, it's going to be a lot more versatile I can take it out to areas that I, I, I I've been meaning to fly for a long time but holy smokes these are parks and stuff and and, and I don't want to track a lot of people when I fly. I'm not like that. So uh, if I can go out there and be as anonymous as I possibly can when I fly, I, that's the way I that's the way I want to do it. So uh, it did a fantastic job today, um, and that's it. The Parrot and Nafi multi rotor camera quadcopter. There you go. 4K camera, 2.4 aperture on there. So, tell you what, you saw the updates. It's now got 2.7K uh, on there and HDR and all the exposures, all the resolutions have, have now have the uh, um, HDR ability on there. As well as you can do the, uh, uh, the lock where it'll have just one lock of, if you, if you set your exposure, you can do the exposure lock on, on it and, and it won't change the exposure at all so that that might come that might come in handy plus you can go ahead and do all the settings for the return to, to home height um, so i hope you enjoyed it and that's it we'll talk to you later bye